Hey, what's up guys? I actually just finished this vlog, but I wanted to let you know a couple things. I just posted a cover to the song Terminator, which is on ShedTracks.com. Shout out to those guys. But uh, check that out. I'll link it here above. But if you like that kind of stuff, um, I've got a website and I've got five drum fills on that site. Uh, kind of in-depth lessons. So check that out. DanielBernardDrums.com. The link is in the description along with the link to a ton of other stuff. Everything you could possibly want to know about, everything I play and like and use is in the description below. So check that out. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Um, now let's hop back and begin this vlog. What's up, friends? Venturing out again. Uh, I'm going up to the church and um, we're prepping for an online Easter service. I'm sure like many of you are right now. And so one thing we're doing is we're doing like a... Um, like a live music, I guess it won't be live, but um, a cover intro. So like instead of, what we've been doing is doing like pre-recorded music since we've tracked and I've tracked so much of our content in the past that we've just been going back and through and mixing that and then using stuff from our services. So, um, but for Easter, we are going to do like a musical intro with the band. So everyone's gonna record their parts separately and then um, put them all together, you know, like a virtual, like a cover, I mean like what I do on my channel, like collabs, so um, should be fun, um, but you know, it's gonna take a little bit uh, to get everything put together, so we're doing, you know, need drums first, that's probably like the biggest thing um, to kind of lay down to get kind of the foundation, and then we're actually doing a virtual choir, so like everyone's gonna basically like, uh, you know, record themselves at home on their phones and gonna put it together, so it's gonna be interesting, obviously the production quality is gonna be lower in the sense of their video quality and audio, but it should be really cool. So I'm going to the church to track that tonight and maybe uh, maybe some other stuff. We'll see. Um, it's 7.45, so not too late, but I don't want to be out till midnight again. So figured I'd bring you guys along with me on another adventure out from the quarantine. I'm not going to lie. Saints of the Most High. I'm tired. Rocking uh, like five to six hours of sleep right now per night, which it's okay. But last night I got less than that. Uh, I think I got like four last night. It's my own fault, man. I'm the one that came up here and wanted to do stuff. So that's on me. So Pastor Keith sent out a demo for the song we're doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is drop it in Ableton and drop some cues on it um, so that I can really quickly play it instead of having to remember everything perfectly um, the cues can just kind of guide me through it's not hard but I want to make sure I don't miss anything and I can nail it in just a couple takes so um, we get everything fired up get the tracking computer going and we'll track all right computers going is this too close is this a little too close Tracking computer is going and uh, everything is locked and loaded. So here we go. We're gonna track some drums. It's 8:40. I'd love to be out of here by 10. That'll be solid. So for this, um, I'm just gonna do one shot. I think just kind of like this straight-on shot here. I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that straight shot um, since it's just gonna be like jumping from instrument to instrument. I don't wanna give Keith multiple angles, I'll just do the one angle. So I'm gonna switch out though. I've, I'm running kind of the smaller setup, so I'm gonna go back to my bigger um, setup. The song is more contemporary, so I've got the 14s, uh, 18 inch Crash, 18 Thomas Snare. So I'm gonna go, you know, the 16 inch Crash um, hats, probably 18. Masters Dark, 20 Masters Thin, or you know, 20 Masters Thin, 22, um, and then my old Superphonic snare. So get that swapped out, uh, get my lighting set up, knock this guy out. Sorry, I'm recording on my phone because I got my camera finally all set up perfect and I want to leave like that. So I'm dropping the demo into um, uh, Ableton. <laughs> I'm going to drop that in, in a second and then... I'm going to line it up on a click and then I'm going to add some markers like, you know, band, drums. I'm going to probably record some markers myself so that I've got like a guide to walk me through the demo. That way, in case I forget exactly what's next, 
I'm walking myself through it instead of having to record it a couple of times. So a little extra work here, but hopefully save me a couple takes. And just I can just rock and roll, maybe one or two takes. So uh, just a few more minutes and I should be able to knock this out. All right, friends, not much to this video because man, I'm beat. It's uh, it's 9.50, so I just did the one track for uh, the Easter program, and I'm out. I'm going to work on the other stuff later. But um, it's cool. So basically for our Easter service, we're doing <coughs> like a musical intro, then like a virtual choir where everyone records themselves, uh, some narrations, 
in between the segments to kind of create like a storyline almost. Um, and then some like virtual like self selfie testimonies, so I guess virtual testimonies. And then um, some of our pre-recorded music mixed and then pastors are gonna to preach. So um, I don't wanna say it's like a movie because that sounds like it's not church, but you know, it's kind of, the presentation is a little bit different because uh, we're not just trying to have church as usual because we're not here, it's, nothing's the same. So I'm looking forward to it though. I believe that God's still gonna um, use us in this time and work through this time. I don't think, you know, he brought us here uh, and allowed us to go through this and not use us in this time. So I'm about to start preaching in here. Uh, but no, I'm excited in, in the sense that uh, it pushes us, it challenges us to think differently and to um, create a different experience and a different way that people can encounter Jesus. So I'm excited about that and looking forward to what it's going to turn out to be. So just a little piece of it tonight and uh, I'll probably post some of the final stuff and let you guys take a look at uh, what we're doing.